Well, hello everyone. It's been several years since I last filmed a video. Um, I actually had someone comment the other day on my channel. My, t my videos are several years old and I decided, you know what, I need to, I need to film a little video for my passion for Henry Bendel. Um, a lot has happened in my life since my last video. Uh, if you've watched it, you know I was working in Hawaii. I had just moved and I had shared about a train case that I got from my boyfriend at the time. Uh, so it turns out I ended up marrying that boyfriend. Now we live in Florida. We've moved several times, so I don't have my uh, filming equipment, my camera and my tripod that I used to have. I didn't have those in Hawaii either, but um, I apologize if this video is very shaky and very annoying to watch. I will try to do better for next for the future videos. So I wanted to share just, you know, a little life update and um, a few of my favorite Bendel things that I have now. Um, the more that time that goes on since Bendel closed, the more we appreciate those stripes, right? So one of my favorite things is this shirt I'm wearing. It's one of the gift with purchase shirts, the hashtag Bendel girl. Because I'm filming in a mirror, it's backwards, but that's what it says on there. Um, and I really love it. It's simple. It's comfy. It's cute. Um, then one of my favorite things I wanted to share also was something that my husband made for me as a surprise kind of housewarming gift when we first moved in together after getting married. He found a vanity, he put it together, and he painted it with the stripes, the Bendel stripes, although it's not brown and white, it's still so gorgeous and such a thoughtful, beautiful gift that he gave to me and surprised me with. Um, it even has a power cord and a USB port that I can use for my uh, appliances for my hair. Um, he also added this really cute touch. He added um, some lights. These are from Ikea. He installed those onto the vanity and it just looks so awesome. Look at that. Such an amazing gift. So I'm going to move to another part for the next part of this video. Another one of my favorite things is this train case that I got. Now that Bendel has been gone for a few years, we really appreciate the brown and white centennial striped design on their items. So I'm happy I was able to get my hands on this one. It's a train case which moving with the same theme of my previous video this is the train case that my husband gave me when we were dating and the rest is history i guess so just comparing the size here there this one is bigger um one thing i don't like about this one is that you can't remove these straps on the top I've tried and I don't want to damage it. I think you can, I just don't want to damage it doing so. Because I feel like it would look a lot prettier with displaying it without these kind of awkward strap. This just kind of sits weird, I don't know. So let me show you the inside. It's a, it's a beautiful taupe colored um, lining and satin like they always do. They have a pocket, pocket in the front. My other smaller one actually has more pockets, although it's smaller, and it has the removable clasps for the strap, so it's very nice. I actually almost like this one a little better. Um, and then this is the, the zipper pulls, and it has feet, just like the first one. Uh, so that's a beautiful item that I really, really appreciate. Um, I also have the Centennial Jet Setter Backpack. I think that's what it was called. I was able to get it monogrammed before, shortly before closing with my new initials. Um, and this is my bag that I'm currently carrying nowadays. And I get a lot of compliments. I changed into it for the month of September. and I really love this bag. It's so practical, so roomy. I have so much stuff in there. Um, I did add... <laughs> Something from uh, Louis Vuitton here, this little case, I mean, this little um, 
clasp that I use it for my keys. I feel like that was one feature kind of missing from bundle bags. It would have been very useful. I get frustrated not finding my keys in, in this whole uh, in this whole mess. <laughs> so if you guys know of good ways to organize your debt setter bags, would you let me know in the comments or if you have any videos showing good organizers or things you do for your debt setters. Um, I am also carrying this, one of my favorites, the striped, this is the inside of a kangaroo wallet um, that I have. I don't remember the color of the outer part, but this is the this is the inside and this is what I'm using as my wallet and I really love it. So let me know what you guys would like to see. I do want to start making more videos and I would like to share a little more of my bundle collection now. All we have is just, you know, the things that we that we got and the resale market is just insane nowadays. So I'm, you know, I, I don't I don't give money to those people. Um, let me know what you'd like to see if you're interested in more or if you want to know more about my time in Hawaii or anything else you'd like to see. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this short, quick video and I'll see you next time.